I usually have music bumping from the dining room the whole time I'm in here. It's like dancing and whatnot, so you guys are lucky I canceled it out for you. Okay, so asparagus number one is done. I'm gonna take that out. Let that stand for a while because it's very hot. Pop another one in there. That'll be good. Combine that all together once we're done. Chicken's still cooking on the grill. Got a little bit more time for that's ready. Steak's up next. We have the water. When that starts boiling, we add in the rice. Doesn't take too long to cook after that. While we're waiting, take a look at this, which just came in the mail. <clears throat> World Physique Magazine. With me on the cover. My very first magazine cover at 19 years old. I'm excited. Uh, first natural teen to ever get a magazine cover in bodybuilding. So this is uh, huge. Very grateful for this. Check it out. WorldPhysiqueMagazine.com Grab an issue. It's pretty interesting. And I got my first supplement ad. <laughs> a little excited. Sorry. I get giddy. Back to cooking before we burn this house down. What's up, Chad Taylor from Chad Taylor Fitness? This is Nick Wright. I just got your message, bro. I was uh, cooking up some stuff. Uh, just give me a call back whenever you want, and I'll talk to you then. Taylor Gang or die. Okay, so our other asparagus is done. We let that one sit for a while, let it cool off. Water's boiling for the brown rice, so we add that in. We'll mix that around. It's going to be a good amount of brown rice for the week. Alright. So this chicken is just about done. Still a little bit pink. Chicken takes the longest to cook. It's obnoxious. You definitely want to make sure you don't undercook your chicken. Steak is good to have nice and rare. Uh, chicken can be a lot more dangerous when it comes to the different diseases you can get from food. E. coli and salmonella and such. So make sure you cook your chicken nice and well. You don't want any uh, pink on there, so like, this breast may look done. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it with this kind of lighting, but if you look very closely, there's still some tender pink on the outside, which means once you cut this bad boy open, it's still going to be kind of pink inside. So, we suck it up and we wait. Rice is coming to a boil, so we cover that. Set the timer for five. Bada bing. Set to low. You'll probably notice if you're performing grill as well that the tips of your breasts end up hanging off the edge a little bit. They don't get cooked as fast. That's why I definitely want to put the fat ends towards the top first because they take the longest to cook. But uh, if it's taking a while, uh, it's not a bad idea to rotate them. Just make sure you don't do it messily. <laughs> but I like to just rotate the chicken breasts. Oh, rice is done. It's actually time for another bag of asparagus. Bag number three for today. That'll last a pretty good amount of time, at least a full week. Uh, five minutes. This is all done. So we turn the heater off, stir it. You can see five minutes instant rice. It's looking good and ready. Still has a pool of water in it. So we just take it off the burner, cover back on, let it stand until it's nice and ready to go. Chicken is almost done. Okay. These four breasts are finished. Just cool off. Slap some more on there. A good rule of thumb, uh, it's a little trick for me, is when you're done cooking it, you don't ever want to cut into it right away. This is more prominent with steak and the higher end meats, but um, that'll basically make it really dry. You want to allow it to sit, cool off for a while before you cut into it. It's kind of like the same principle as letting wine breathe before you drink it. So, back to the grilling. Final pack of chicken, then it's out of the steaks. Why you let it stand. But you know what they say, no pain, no glory. So we don't let it stand, that's pain. 
the glory will be eating us with burnt fingers. Ooh. Oh, we may need a bigger bowl. How much asparagus that is. It's a good amount of fiber right there. And we also have our brown rice ready to be added. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. That's a good amount of brown rice right there. That'll last. Okay, so we have asparagus wrappers, a phone, my cover of Rolf Zig magazine, a bunch of brown rice. Asparagus, chicken breast, steak. Now three of these things are completely irrelevant in the situation. Chicken breasts are done. So, before we cook the rest of this pack, because we're getting full, our bin of meat is getting full here, it's definitely time to bust open the steak and whip that up. So I'm gonna put this aside for the time being. Bust open some steak. If you overcook steak, it becomes way too chewy. Slap that on there. We are almost good to go here. Asparagus is finally cooled off. Okay, the steaks are done. Just about, a little more time left. But like I said, steaks cook really quick. I had to actually break and get a second pin, so we're gonna put our red meats in this one. We'll keep our chicken breasts in this one. We still have our hair. This is for next week when we begin our major ball for the off-season. 155 pounds of male Rottweiler. You guys all remember Moose. I'm just playing like a cookie. Can't fit in that for though. It's my sparring partner right here. It's out of the camera. Y'all about to witness the sickest, dieting like the strictest, bodybuilding in town, my wrist it really itches, probably cause the wrist is from Barthel Fitness. Steaks are all done. I tend to lose it a little bit when I start to cook over a period of hours. Happens. Nice juicy sirloin steaks. I have about one a day. One piece of red meat a day. Not always on the weekend. Sometimes it'll be five days a week. Sometimes it'll be every day. So we got that down. We got our chicken down. Just finish up cooking the rest of this meat, and that's pretty much it. So, basically what we have going on here is obviously, this is not my entire diet. Uh, what you didn't see was, of course, the whey protein that I have for morning and post-workout. Uh, I do have fish sometimes before bed, typically tilapia. It's the cleanest source of fish, or well, one of them, as far as protein goes. Um, I also have oatmeal. As a major carb source, especially in the morning time and post workout again. And I do have russet potatoes pre and post workout. So potatoes, oatmeal, whey protein, sometimes tilapia. Those are the four things you didn't see here. Uh, but again, you guys all have access to my current diet if you just go to huntfitness.com and look on Nick's Corner. So check that out. But in general, you did get to see how I buy groceries in terms of buying in bulk or buying in separated segments like I do. You also got to see my method of cooking. Very plain Jane and boring, no seasoning, nothing particularly exciting. And you get to see um, pretty much what the bulk of my diet is. The foods you see here, um, chicken, steak, brown rice, and asparagus are definitely the bread and butter of my daily diet. Those are what the majority of meals consist of. So again, check it out, huntfitness.com. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. And let me know if you want to see an upgraded version of eating big. Maybe we'll call it eating large. Thanks, guys.